You need to hear this if you're a fan of Wild Engineering Saves, because in just three minutes, discover how Brilliant Engineering saved one of the world's most iconic mistakes, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You'll want to stick around, because the full story is even wilder than you think. So, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, it's famous, right? But not for being straight. It's iconic tilt? Yeah, that definitely wasn't part of the original plan. The reason it leans is actually all about the ground underneath it. The soil there is, well, kind of soft and uneven. There's more sand on one side and more clay on the other, which made for a pretty unstable foundation. Construction kicked off back in 1173, and almost immediately, the tower started to lean. The builders noticed the issue during just the first few levels, so they tried to fix it as they went up, by making some of the higher levels taller on one side. That's actually why the tower has this gentle curve to it. But even with those fixes, the lean just kept getting worse over the centuries. It managed to survive earthquakes and wars, which is kind of amazing. But by the late 20th century, things were getting, you know, pretty critical. The tower was leaning dangerously. By 1990, the leaning tower of Pisa was in big, big trouble. The tilt had reached 5.5 degrees, and yeah, that's seriously steep. Experts were sounding the alarm. It was on the verge of collapsing. So, the Italian government stepped in and shut it down to the public. Something had to be done, fast. A team of engineers and experts was brought together. They started by studying everything. The tower's structure, the soil underneath, all of it. To really understand what was happening, they even built models of the tower and the ground it stood on. As a temporary fix, they decided to use lead counterweights. These super heavy weights were placed on the north side of the tower's base to kind of push back against the lean, and it worked at least for a while. The lead weights bought them some time, but everyone knew, yeah, they'd need a permanent fix. So then, the engineers started looking into long-term solutions. One idea was to anchor the tower to the ground using long steel cables. Sounds smart, right? But, uh, it actually backfired. The anchoring made the tower tilt even more. Turns out, the base of the tower was actually helping to support it in ways they hadn't fully understood. Another idea, pumping out groundwater from underneath the tower. The goal was to dry out the soil and make it more stable, but that approach was just way too risky. Messing with the groundwater could have caused all kinds of unpredictable problems, not just for the tower, but for other nearby buildings too. They also explored something called electroosmosis. That's where you pass an electric current through the soil to try and strengthen the clay. But tests showed, yeah, that really wasn't going to work with the type of soil under Pisa. So the engineers were back to square one, they needed a better plan. Finally, the team landed on a method called under-excavation. Basically, this meant carefully